today's tutorial um, today I'm going to help you solve the previous assignment which you just had yeah so we'll start with question one okay so if you have not yet subscribed to the channel please do so by uh, clicking on the button you say subscribe so that you don't miss out the videos that I'll be posting okay so the first question here says let a be equal to x being a member of so i can list this set um, using interval notation because i know to say x is a member of real numbers so when you're dealing with intervals not to say we're dealing with real numbers and then x is greater than 2 so i can list this set to be like this so this is my set a set a is just equal to this and uh, this will be comma infinity and then b we said b is just equal to we are saying x is a member of integers so integers less or equal to 2 so meaning i'm coming from negative infinity or if i uh, okay let me do this i'm coming from negative infinity then I'll write 0, 1, 2, I had. So this one is not an interval, so we just uh, close and open the brackets like that. So when you look at this kind of bracket here, it shows that 2 is not part of this set. Yeah. So when they say find A, Mm, a union B complement and complement outside. You can first start by simplifying this part. Meaning, when you simplify this, you're going to have A. You're going to have A. Uh, a complement when you distribute the complement intersection. B. A complement times that complement, or when you distribute that complement on a complement it the complement disappears so this is what you're going to have okay sorry for that so this is what you're going to have so after simplifying this you can now uh, list uh, a complement and then list b so b is already there so this is our a meaning our a complement to come from a uh, negative infinity let me just write it here so our a complement to come from negative infinity up to two of course to be part of the set a complement and then union yeah i think this is this is okay i thought there was a number here since there's an infinite symbol there so meaning this is our a complement so if we are now to find the intersection set between this b here and our a complement we find the common elements so the common elements there will just be uh, so we can say a complement intersection b is just equal to we find the common elements between this and that so meaning we're going to have uh, numbers coming from negative infinity and then since this one is a set of real numbers meaning it contains all these numbers in this set so we just uh, repeat that same set b uh, as our solution and then these brackets here should be kinds of brackets since we are listing so 2 is part of this set 2 is also part of set b so that's why we've ended on 2 so this is the solution for um so this is the solution the solution for these sets yeah so yeah simple and straightforward so the principle that we used here is de morgan's so this is the solution for this for sorry, for for this question. So I'll skip this question for some reason. 
because uh, this question you can find it on Google not only Google in a lot of books you find these laws you just have to list them and looking at this being an assignment meaning you researched and you have these uh, solutions okay so let's quickly move on to uh, to this question here we simplify this so whenever you have been taught to simplify something what you should put in your mind is that the first thing you're supposed to do is to work with what is in the brackets so many words we're going to start with the brackets which is which are inside the brackets so meaning we'll start with these brackets inside there so we're going to have just let me write x intersection so when i open this with that complement i'm going to have x so complement and that complement will cancel then the sign here will change then my y is going to have uh, a complement then open the i mean close the brackets there there's also another complement but here we can see that we can distribute this using distributive law so when we distribute this i'm going to have x intersection x in brackets and then union x intersection y complement okay so this is what you're going to have then you put your put your brackets outside like that so yeah so what you can do now is x intersection x you still get x and then union yeah, union and then x intersection one will still remain x intersection y complement okay oh i think what you can do to make things simple if you want you can come and open the complements uh the complement here you open the brackets for the complement here but i think the best way maybe we're going to do this if we are just to work with this uh properly before we distribute here maybe let's do this So that the process at least becomes shorter so we distribute the complement first there so meaning we're going to have x complement and then inter sorry th that intersection will change to union union then open brackets we have x um union y complement like that then a complement outside then here now we can distribute so when you distribute oh sorry we can uh we, we can um expand this now so we're going to have x complement union x oh before we expand this this complement outside we can distribute it okay so we distribute this complement meaning we're going to have x complement and then the sign there will change will be intersection and then y so this is what we're going to have and then you can now distribute here so we're going to have x complement uh, union x complement in brackets like that intersection x complement uh, union y like that so this is how simple you can simplify this so x complement union x complement uh, the answer will just be uh, x complement so when you list x complement then you unite it with another x complement you still have x complement as your answer so meaning i'm going to have x complement as your answer there and then intersection uh, 
intersection x complement union y So I think this is how simple this can be can be left. Okay, so this is how simple you can simplify this. Uh, I don't think there is another way you can do this. If there is another way where if there is another way you can do this then to just be leaving it in this format, which is not ideal. So let's move on to the next question. Okay, so the next question is this one, which says, let A be equal to that negative 2 comma 3, and uh, B be equal to that, C be equal to that. So let us list C before we start solving. So C is equal to, or maybe let me do this, let me just cut this here. Uh, so that we solve question two in the next uh, in the next uh, video. So see you in the next video. Make sure that you subscribe to the channel if you have not yet subscribed to the channel. Shalom, shalom.